Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it is Trade In Tuesday. We are trading in shame for our new name. You know, in sixth grade, a classmate sat at the other end of the lunch table calling me names for like two weeks. And I returned the favor until one day I cracked and ran to the bathroom crying. On my 13th birthday, I was doing my chores, getting ready for my birthday party while my then stepfather sat at the kitchen table calling me similar names and worse. I finally snapped, retorted back, and he canceled my slumber party. When people label us, we might fight back at first and then find ourselves living up to what we've been called. We figure we can't stop their insults, so we act like they're not really that bad and live in defiance. As I grew up, I found myself acting out those names and vacillating between shame and the need for validation. I did some destructive stuff, but I don't live in shame anymore. In Revelation 2.17, Jesus says, I will give to each one a white stone, and on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. Our creator is the only one who's going to be with us before we we're born, all the way into eternity and everywhere we go in between. We can leave the snobs and the users and the bullies behind and keep moving forward in the plans he has for us. He'll uncover our true identities like layers of one Christmas gift wrapped around another until at last we pull out a white stone that truly describes us. If you're wondering who you were made to be, I recommend checking out Option Ocean, Navigating the Sea of Possibility. It'll change your year. God bless you.